Oh, I've run into Stolly. What? You're telling me my apprentice has not yet ventured into Deep's Crave? How will my apprentice find me the Zabaibin if he refuses to leave Monogard? Well, how's he gonna do that? Well, he's not gonna bring it back to you if he gets killed either. Did you convince my apprentice not to enter Deep's Crave? For shame. You have no right to interfere in this matter. I will forgive you if you sign this contract agreeing to help me instead. The parchment is right there. Uh-ha. -huh. Didn't he tell me not to do anything like that? Uh, no. I did nothing. Nothing at all. We were, are all working for the same goal, are we not? Victory in Gundabad helps every interest. Mine, Prince Durin's, and yours. That is simply logical, and no one can deny it. You should return to the prince and see how you can help the Gabilacha. And while you adventure on behalf of all the dwarves, perhaps you will keep your eyes open for the works of art that might be of interest to one specific dwarf. Well, I suppose so. Oh, he's, he's not going to make me sign the contract then, at least. But, tells me to keep my eyes open. Well, alright, I'll keep my eyes open. I have to, because otherwise I'll get killed in battle, right? Well, let's see what Durin has to say. With your help, we have secured Matugard, and now it is time to push beyond these halls. There was a war to fight then? Now the war is here, and we need not turn our attention elsewhere. To the west of Matugard, you'll find the Deep's Crave. An enormous cavern more than a thousand feet tall. Within the vast base, a single column of stone descends into the darkness, the Berg Beam, the pillar of the mountain. The Lords of Gundabad dwelt in Matagard, but the common folk lived in the homes built around the great column. I hear tell that now the dwellings of these graves are home only to the orcs and goblins. Terrible insult. Venture into the deep's grave, slay any orcs you find, and inspect the berg beams at several different points at, to ensure that it stands strong with no sign of weakness. Then return to me with your report, and together we will decide how best to proceed. Alright, so let me get this straight then. You need me to kill orcs and goblins at Deep's Grave. I'm, I'm sure plenty of them will present themselves to me. And then search debris on the long Berg beam. Before I head into the Deep's Grave, I better check here to find out about these stone claws to make sure they don't destroy everything in the area once I'm gone. Let's take care of these first. Then we can get to the deep grave. Well, what have we got here? Hmm. Bone piles. Well, that might help us to identify what's going on in here. And these guys. You are, I'm sure, going to make me have... Oh! I didn't see you! Well, I see you now. Dead. And there's a dirt pile. I should also collect some samples from there. There we go. And maybe you could learn what's going on. They seem to behave like normal cave claws. Not anything particularly frenzied about these. Hmm. Nothing seems to be tainted or poisoned here. You would not know that from the way these stone claws are acting, though. I don't know. They seem to be acting like stone claws, if you ask me. While exploring Longagam, 
I noticed a crack leading towards a large underground cavern system. Perhaps whoever placed these runes on the buildings placed some of the caverns beneath Ronglagam. Should we continue our search within the caverns? Alright, I suppose we could. I am ready than ever you are. Alright, let's go then. Barthmas, the brave Beornin, trusts his keen senses in that something indeed stirs the creatures of Matugard from within caverns deep under the mighty court. Shall we continue then? The cavern is vast. Well, shall we continue? Yeah, let's go. Let's take care of this guy first. Then we can continue. Come along, come along. Oh, oh yeah, the awnings. <laughs> Forgot about that little feature. You would, you would think that someone turning into a bear would be something that would just be memorable, right? I guess not. Oh. Hmm. That's not a cave claw. Uh. It's a. There are graver down here as well. Well, I suppose that shouldn't be too much of a shock. They seem to be get everywhere involved. All right, I'll. I'll I'll deal with the claws, you take care of the bugs. Alright, which way now? Alright, this way. There are hives and nests everywhere! Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Yes. I wonder what else is down here. Nameless? That could explain a few things. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. I still think the bugs are the more aggressive of the two. But there's a great big nest down here. I'm pretty sure we want to clean that up at the very least. Next, what's down this way? Look down there! That obelisk must be the source of the frenzy and corruption! Oh my, yeah, that looks like something that's nasty. Alright, let's see. Let's head on down. Find out what's going on. Yeah, let's take care of this thing. Hmm. Oh! Well, that's a nasty pair to have. It's not good that I have to fight them both at the same time. Oh, well, it's good that you arrived. The large... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it looks like they're both down. Alright, let's take care of this thing. Yeah, now let's... We hope that this obelisk will... be breakable. There you go. Well, if that wasn't a source of corruption, I don't know what was. Come, let us return to the steep set. The obelisk was certainly a creation of the Agbrim. Come, let us get out of here. I hope that quiets things down. There is no doubt in my mind that the obelisk we destroyed was a creation of the Angmarim. I will say I agree with you. I saw such fell structures during the War Three Peaks. However, 
I have not seen a single Agrim outpost in all of Matugard. We should speak with Voina about what we have learned. While Matugard is certainly safer, these ruins are troubling still. Hmm, yes. Yes, it is. Well, speak to Voina. Ah, here's Voina. It appears that we found an Agram obelisk deep within this area. Only a drop shows mercy in battle. So, you destroyed an Agram obelisk deep under Matagard. I had had my suspicions, but nothing I would consider a solid fact. Your find does partially confirm my suspicion, however. I do not believe the Agram are yet in Matagard. I believe that someone else is placing their fell structures for them. Hmm, well, I suppose that's also a possibility. Who is the question, though? I suppose she has an hypothesis. Put your back to the past and to the wind. Yes, I believe word of God Zothrug's death has reached the hobgoblins in the pit of stone jaws. They demonstrate a renewed resolve and send the, their brutes to test us at the steep set. The hobgoblins even construct vile wards to denote the expansion into the Matagard. We must defeat these hobgoblin brutes and destroy their wards at once. If we are not swift, the hobgoblins will believe us to be weak and move in to crush us. Uh huh. All right. Well, I wasn't thinking of going into the stone jaws right now, but if we have to be swift, we have to be swift. I just hope I don't have to go too far before running into the hobgoblin. I was worried about having to go too far. This is too close. Well then. Let's deal with their wards then. And I guess we we'll have to find out what's inside. Other than a great number of hobgoblins, I'm sure. I better destroy their weapons and supplies while I'm at it. Well. Let's see what we got here. Ah! Supplies. Right? And hobgoblins, of course. And these are going to be all over the place, I'm sure. Because it's never easy. But I just hope I don't make Durin wait too long. You find a few greedy dower hands who have been captured by the hobgoblin forces. It's only a matter of time before the hobgoblins obtain useful information for the dower hands, so I need to free the dower hands. Oh my goodness gracious. See? Uh, forget it. Alright. Yeah, I'm sure they will come to stab me in the back sometime in the future. Because they're dower hands! Now that I've taken care of the hobgoblins, what are we going to do about this lot? What do you want? Thank you, Warden. We're indebted to your kindness. I hate to ask more of you, but, well, we are traders. And all of our goods of trade were stolen by those hobgoblins that captured us. Would you be able to retrieve our supplies? It's all that we have. Gotta go back in there. <sighs> Why? Why do I talk to Tower Hands? Ah, oh, here's the first one. Now, how many sets of supplies are there going to be? And of course, how many hobgoblins am I going to have to kill to get them? You can't decide whether you want to run or fight. All right. 
I'll tell you which one. Neither is the real answer. That's what, well, running might have kept you alive, I guess. Oh, they are really coming on fast and thick, aren't they? Are there any more of these supplies anywhere around here? Or am I just going to have to kill a hundred hobgoblins to find all this stuff? Hey, could you tell me where the Dower Hand supplies are so I could get through here more quickly? Yeah, I didn't think you were going to cooperate. Ah, there's more of them. And, of course, more hobgoblins. And this is all that I could find. What do you need? We have very little to offer to repay you for your kindness. I'm sorry. All we can offer you is our words that our barter prices will be fair. We thank you again, Brave Warden. You're welcome. And now, I need to speak to Voina again. Well, I should set the hobgoblins back for a while. We have come too far to turn back now. Yes, you've done well, but we cannot celebrate our victory just yet. I received some information from a scout. It concerns the Agmarim. Oh, wonderful. What's wrong now? There is much to be done and little time for talk. Upon the highest bridge within the encampment of Sadakala, my scout witnessed an emissary of the Iron Crown speak at length to the high-ranking captains of the Hobgoblin forces here in Matugard. I worry what this could mean. We already know the Hobgoblins are devoted to the Frost Horde. Have the Agrim cut their ties with Gorgar's forces, as have the Hobgoblins? Does the Agmar seek an alliance with Himmel Frostheart? I don't know what is in store for us as we delve deeper into Gundabad, but I do know this Iron Crown emissary remains at Sadol Kala and may be our best chance to learn about the new arrangement between our enemies. Well then, what are we going to do about that? Yes, the only thing I can do is to go back in and deal with this emissary. Many hobgoblins stem between you and the emissary. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'm sure many of them do. But I am going to go through them all to find this emissary. Oh, hello. I, um, apparently I'm going to get through many of them before I could find them. Are you done yet? Of course not. Now, where is the best place to find an emissary? Hmm. Ah, this looks like the place. Let's see if anyone comes to answer my call. Probably an Angrim of some sort, I would guess. Hello? Who? And why? And what they want? And are we going to be able to do anything about it? Have you come to form a pact? What chance have you? Have you come to bargain? No, there's not that you have that the Iron Crown desires. You have come to declare fealty then? You would make a fine servant. I see then. You have not come to speak only to act, just as you acted against those with whom I speak. I shall also act, and act with resistance. You shall learn no more from me than you already know, determined and foolish hobbit. Are you sure about that? We'll see about that. Well, I probably won't learn anything else from him because he's going to be dead. Maybe I can find something in his pockets that will give me information. That's always a possibility. No, apparently not. I have dealt with the emissary. We have come too far to turn back now. But you weren't able to learn anything new? Uh, that's all right. Even had we captured the emissary alive, I doubt he would have spoken any truth to us. 
but we have learned something. We can now say for certain that the Angram and the Hobgoblins work together in some capacity. There is only one way to learn more about their plans that, that they share with Gundabad, and that is for us to venture into the Pit of the Stone Jaws. Oh, wonderful. The Pit of the Stone Jaws. But, that will have to wait, because Durin wishes me to head in the other direction. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode of Complete Pine Leaf.